I think a lot of the market is preoccupied with turkey right now, um, and I'm not actually talking about the country. I'm, I'm talking about the kind that goes with the, stuffing the sauce, and, and, yeah. and potatoes. Um, but, uh, you know, when we move beyond the weekend, uh, I certainly would look for an extension of dollar strength uh, because I think what the market is responding to um, is U.S. politics and the perception that the Trump administration uh, is going to focus, at least initially, more heavily on some of the measures that might be supportive for asset prices uh, that might help to drive yields higher. Uh, things like fiscal spending on infrastructure, uh, as well as potentially corporate tax reform. And if the focus is on those above trade issues, uh, I think that the trends are probably going to continue. Do you think it's overdone right now? Because, we, you know, we've seen this rally uh, with the dollar for about two weeks now. But once Trump gets into office in January and reality sets in, you know, it's not so easy to legislate and govern, um, even though Congress is Republican uh, and in his party. Uh, do you think we'll see uh, a bit of a pull? back or when would you anticipate any sort of consolidation? You know, I think that's a really interesting question because, uh, you know, I just got back uh, from a trip actually around the world visiting clients in New York and London and I would say the consensus on dollar strength uh, is exceptionally strong at this point uh, and there's exceptional consensus around how to trade that uh, with positions like long dollar yen. Um, so do I think that there is risk that the market has swung too far? Uh, yes. Uh, I think as uh, Trump comes into office, there is some risk that we swing focus back a bit to these trade issues because that was such a cornerstone uh, of his campaign. Um, do I think that that is ultimately going to reverse the dollar trend? No. Um, do I think that the positions uh, are so stretched that any correction is going to be extreme? Uh, I don't think that they're quite there yet um, because as far as we can tell, the participation in dollar buying from the leverage sector um, has been much heavier uh, than that from longer term investors. So I do think there is room for more in the market to participate in these moves. So